So if you own an action camera, something like this, maybe it's a GoPro Hero 12, you have the Osmo Action, this is the four, I also have the three, or something like 360 cameras, we have the Insta360 X3, also the brand new Pocket 3. If you're looking at getting more immersive and creative types of shots, you've probably looked into some of these types of different mounting systems that you can use with your action camera. Now the one thing new with this system here is that PGY Tech came out with this, which is called the Cap Lock. Now the small little mount that you could put onto your action camera via a quarter 20 or something like a two prong setup, which pretty much every action camera has the ability to use. Now this really small adapter allows you now to go in between all these different mounts with a fast quick release. So for a lot of the power users out there, say for instance, you are out there vlogging, you can actually use this right here. So you're vlogging and then you want to do is quickly go from a vlogging setup with a tripod into riding a bike. So for instance, if I have this bike mount, which is already on my handlebars, I can now pull off from the tripod, pull this off, pop this right onto my bike mount. It also has a secondary lock here on the very back, so it won't come out. Then when you're done riding your bike, you can pull this off just like that. And now I have maybe a suction cup mount that's on the inside of my car. I can easily take off this camera, grab my GoPro, slide this on here, and then now I can have that suction cup mount in my car. Now some of these mounts might look very familiar, but there's also some new ones here. We have an all new Mantis Pod Z, which is a tall tripod like this, which also has the quick release, just like that. So I do have the cap lock here at the very bottom of my pocket. I'm able to just hook that up here. But the reason why, of course, it's called the Mantis Pod is because of this right here. Tripod base, and at the very bottom is a little hook right here. And that's one thing that's cool about this Mantis Pod Z is that if you don't have a higher tripod, you can now just hook this up to pretty much anything that will hold it on the very top. This works as your base, and then you can just extend this arm out to get your camera nice and straight. So if you do have the previous Mantis Pod, this cap lock system won't work. You're gonna need the one that has that ball head right here. And thanks to PGY Tech, they actually sent me an extra one of these, so I will be giving one out to you guys. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video. This next mount is probably my favorite one recently. It has a super strong magnet right here on the very back. So once you take your action camera, slide that into the cap lock system right here. You can now just place this onto almost any part of your car. This will be super strong and then adjust your camera just like this. So you can have it pointed straight, tighten this right there. And then there you go. Now you are able to hook this up to the side of your car and get really close to something like your wheel, your wheel well. You wanna get the top of your car pointed straight down. The magnet on here is super strong. Plus another accessory that's really good is that if you don't have an action camera, and you have something like a cell phone. Same thing here, hook up your cap lock to the bottom, and now you can have your cell phone, cell phone mounted, and pretty much hook this up to a pole or a light, and then you can have this thing as your, pretty much your little tripod that can be placed almost anywhere. Now this mount I actually use in conjunction with this one right here, which is the suction cup mount. There's one thing that always scares me, and that's putting a camera out there with something like this, a single suction cup just because of the weight of the camera plus the pull. It just has a lot more kind of force pushing it down. So what I did was I used this right here, which is a three suction cup mount. It also has the cap lock at the very top. So I'm able to hook up the adapter here to the very bottom of my Insta360 pole. But then again, like I said, you still kind of feel sketchy that you are having so much weight pushing on this thing. So what I did is I used this right here as a secondary mount. Then I have my secondary one, which I hooked up to the back of my car, and then extended a pole from here and grabbed it a little bit lower on the actual extension pole. Feel a lot more safe doing this with the two mount setup, especially when you're driving with a 360 camera, because if you know that if this thing falls off and drops, the lens on this thing will more likely crack or break, which means you're pretty much done. Next mount we have is this one right here. So if you just wanna get that first person view look, you just have to hook this up and you can put this around your chest. And then now you can hook up your action cameras straight to your chest. So this gives you a lot more kind of ease of use besides having a thicker and bigger shoulder harness, which a lot of the action cameras do. Here you just have this neck one. There's a lot of companies that have just the neck mounts, but if you've ever worn one of these neck mounts, you'll know that they kind of 
flop up and down. Adding this little strap here holds it down to your chest. Feels just as secure as one of those thicker, bigger chest mounts. Here is a single suction cup mount, and this one's really good if you just wanna hook up an action camera, say if you wanted to do some interior shots of your car, hook it up to the passenger side, point it towards the driver. I like to just hook this thing up right in the middle so it gets the center of my car while I'm driving. And finally, we have this mount right here, which uses the, I would say the GoPro mounts that a lot of people have used in the past, which is this right here. So all you have to do is hook up to, here I have it hooked up to my helmet. That locks into place. I can actually use whichever camera. This is the Action 3. But if I want to throw the GoPro on there, I'm able to do that. And then you can also adjust the angle with this lock right there. So you can actually go in any direction. If you want to go vertical, you could do that. Hook that up like so. And of course, go back to horizontal. Now overall, I like the system mainly because of this. The cap lock is super small. I've seen a lot of other ones that have really big quick release ones. Now huge thanks to PGY Tech for sending out this system to test. And I did mention earlier, I do have an extra one of these. Perfect if you are a solo content creator and you need to be able to film yourself. That's what this system is for. So if you are interested in winning one of these Mantis Pod Zs, thanks to PGY Tech for sending me an extra one. My giveaways are pretty simple. Of course, you have to like the video, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel, especially you have notification bell turned on because this giveaway here, I'm gonna be picking a random comment winner within the first 48 hours of this video going live. Now, as far as the comment section, make sure you guys write in that comment section, one, where you're from, and two, which action camera do you have? Do you have stuff like the GoPro, the Action, a Pocket, Insta360 camera? Make sure you write that down below in the comment section where you're from and which action camera do you want to use the Mantis Pod Z4. And if you guys want to figure out who won after the 48 hours, come back to the video, look at the video description, as well as I'll post the winner. I'll pin it to the very top of the comment. And also I will be replying back to the winner in the comment section. So please do not reply back to any of these fake spammers or these scammers out there telling you to send you any money on Telegram or WhatsApp or anything like that. I'm not gonna ask you for any money, so please do not fall for any of those scammers. Of course, the cap lock quick release system will be linked down below. And also make sure you do check out PGY Tech in general, their website. They're gonna have a bunch of deals for Black Friday. As always, if you guys got some value from this video, a big like would be much appreciated. This is Alternate Saucio with flightpath.com. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.